Hello, uh, let us now know about the development of the thyroid gland and its anomalies. Before the actual fusion of the rudiments of the tongue, that is the two lingual swellings and tuberculum impar before they actually fuse, the endodermal cells dorsal to these three swellings evaginate and form a surface elevation of the median thyroid rudiment here and from there these endodermal cells proliferate caudally through the substance of the tongue and that is the and forms the thyroglossal duct. This thyroglossal duct descends downwards in front of the hyoid bone in the midline, sometimes it recurs behind the hyoid bone, then succeedingly it descends downwards in front of this thyroid cartilage and then the cricoid cartilage and on reaching the upper aspect ventral to the trachea, it forms a bilobed mass forming the primordium of the isthmus and the lateral lobes of the thyroid gland. I repeat, the Thyroid gland develops from the thyroglossal duct which begins within the substance of the tongue behind the tuberculum impar, descends downwards and on reaching the upper part of the ventral aspect of the trachea, it proliferates into two bilobed mass and the isthmus. Later, this thyroglossal duct should disappear, leaving a trace of its beginning in the substance of the tongue and that forms the foramen cecum, the remnant of the proximal part of the thyroglossal duct within the tongue at the junction between the anterior two-thirds and posterior one-third is in the form of foramen cecum and similarly in the lower part sometimes the lower part of the thyroglossal duct may persist and forms the pyramidal lobe above the isthmus. Now, be, before the actual regression of this thyroglossal duct happens, within these two lateral lobes of the thyroid gland, this duct proliferates into a series of bilaminar plates, which subsequently is filled with colloid and forms primary thyroid follicles and subsequently the secondary thyroid follicles. The commencement of the thyroid hormones in the fetal thyroid begins from the fourth month of intrauterine life. If you see here the thyroid lateral thyroid rudiment of the caudal pharyngeal complex of the fifth endodermal pouch and rudimentary uh, sixth endodermal pouch and rudimentary fifth endodermal pouch is fused with this lateral lobe of the thyroid gland at this region and arrest the descent of this thyroid lobes further downwards into the thorax. The parafollicular cells of the thyroid gland are developed from the ultimobranchial body of the caudal pharyngeal complex. Next, if you go to the anomalies, anomalies of the thyroid gland, first let us go with the agenesis, agenesis of the thyroid gland. Although it is rare, the thyroid gland may not be formed due to the presence of anti-thyroid antibodies circulating in the mother, it may pass through the placental barrier and may reach the fetus wherein the fetal thyroid might not grow. That is agenesis of the thyroid. Next, if you see this one, thyroglossal cyst. So, if you see this thyroglossal duct should, should disappear, but sometimes instead of disappearing completely, if this duct instead of disappearing completely, if some portion of it persists like this here, it may result in the formation of thyroglossal cyst. 
which assumes a cystic dilatation and with moves with deglutition. When this cyst opens onto the surface of the skin like this, it forms thyroglossal fistula. The cyst breaking onto the surface of the skin is thyroglossal fistula. Coming to the fourth one, lingual thyroid. When the thyroglossal duct, instead of descending downwards, if it proliferates within the substance of the tongue, it gives rise to the thyroid gland within the tongue. Hence, we call it as lingual thyroid. Next, it is accessory thyroid. Sometimes, within the vicinity of this thyroid gland, some accessory thyroid tissue may be noted. And the last one, this one, the ectopic thyroid. Anything which is not topic is ectopic. Anything which is not normal is abnormal. Similarly, instead of the normal position of the thyroid gland here, anywhere other than this position is ectopic. The ectopic thyroid may be seen in the posterior triangle of the neck and sometimes even in the thorax. And the sites of ectopic thyroid are, it can be intralingual, it can be sublingual, this is intralingual, this is tongue. Within the tongue, you can see a thyroid gland. Below the tongue, it can be sublingual. This is hyoid bone, just above the hyoid bone, it may be found, so suprahyoid. Similarly, below the hyoid bone, infrahyoid. in front of thyroid cartilage, similarly in front of cricoid cartilage and very rarely it may be in the intrathoracic, this is within the thorax and this intrathoracic thyroid may be due to the failure of fusion of lateral thyroid rudiment of the caudal pharyngeal complex with this lobed mass here assisted by the negative intrathoracic pressure. This is all about the congenital developmental anomalies of the thyroid. Thank you.